What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Josh Aquatics or Josh's Exotics video uh update time. So I rescaped this tank. It wasn't nothing super drastic, but I just added some uh some slate rock and some petrified wood or fossilized wood, whatever you want to call it. And uh a couple of bunches of Anubia since I think this would be a pretty tough plant that they should not tear up. But these guys have never really at least uh, the fish that I've already had, except for the red Texas, they never really tore up plants before. Remember, uh if you go back in my videos, at least some of these fish you'll see I had this tank fully planted with a bunch of uh what was that? I can't even remember the name of the plant. It, it was uh Amazon Swords. Oh, Crips, that's what it was. It was Crips in here. Crips, Amazon Swords, and a couple other things. I can't really remember everything I had in here. That was so long ago. But uh, let's run through the gabbit. We got my female green sunfish that's over here hiding out in the flower pot, terracotta pot. I moved this piece of wood over here to make space for the little structure that they are already starting to enjoy and claim. This girl is growing like crazy. At least I believe it's female. That looks female to me. Here's Odin's vent took a pair. Yeah, male. Pretty sure this is a girl. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This one back here is looking good. As you can see, all of the pearls on her. That's one of my F ones. I'm very happy with that. Hello, cheeky thing, you. Stop hogging the camera from your, your buddy over there. Come on now. There we go. Looking good, looking good. This is the tilapia store in Texas. That make claim to that little hole there. There's the Chris Rounds F4 Super Red Texas. And that one right behind it is the female Super Red Texas that I added in here that I told you these she was gonna heal back up after the they got done accepting her into the community, and they have. They left her alone. She's starting to heal up nice, so nothing to worry about there. That's that little male green sunfish there. My black bullhead catfish. And I moved this pleco in here from the 150 so he can do what he's doing, about to do right now, and clean up this algae on the back. It'll be gone once he gets settled in this tank from uh in about three or four days. I flip him around from this tank to the 150 back and forth to keep the LG under control. He normally can get rid of this in three, four days and then I move him to the other tank and so on and so forth. But uh, everybody's looking good, tank is looking good, water's clear. Uh, like like I said, these Sun Suns for $100, I'm not saying that they're the best filter on the market, but what you get for the price a hundred bucks, name a better filter you can buy for a hundred bucks. That filters up to 200 gallons and comes with a UV light. I know a lot of people got a stuff with, got a problem with, you know, Chinese products, but you know, I like to spend money where I get the most value for my money. And like I said, this particular model right here, I've had for five years and it's fine. Never leaked, never done anything of the sort. But that's only for the 304Bs. Like I said, I cannot vouch for any other product from Sunsun, but 304Bs got my thumbs up. Let's see. That's the Chris Rounds S Super Red Texas Female. Female Pure Carpentis. That's my F1 female right here. Unfaded Red Texas. Another one of my F1s right there. You guys know these fish are. I don't have to keep running through the gamut. But I'm just doing a little uh, quick video for this tank. Uh, this is about done for now. I may add more. Uh, Anubias around if they don't tear that up. And uh, like I said, 
once this tank, I'm done rescaping this tank, then I'm moving on to the 150 to rescape that one. And then from there, I got a 30 gallon out in the living room with some uh, veil tail angelfish. I'm gonna tear that tank down, dirt it, and put a bunch of plants in that. And my auntie has a 125 gallon that she wants me to come pick up from her house. And uh, I'm pretty sure I want to put some peacock bass in that tank. Some kale berries or some pima. One of the one of the smaller species that don't get super big. Mind you, uh, an 18 inch fish is relatively large when we're talking about putting them in aquariums. But it's way smaller than any other tamenses that can hit 30 inches or or monos or the butterflies that can get to 24 or plus. Eventually, I'll get my get another pond and I'll have red tail catfish and tiger shovel noses and all of that stuff again. But as of right this second, uh, that's not in the cards. Really enjoying this green sunfish as well. One of my favorite natives. And when we talking lepimus, green sunfish is definitely in my top five favorite species of lepimus. You, uh, warm off being my number one. And then right after warm off, you got long air sunfish. And then all the rest of them are pretty much interchangeable uh, as far as northern sunfish, green sunfish, pumpkin seeds. But warm off definitely hold the number one spot. And a warm off, believe it or not, is a rare fish here in Michigan. We don't have a lot of lakes or ponds that have warm off here. We got a bunch of green sunfish, but you really don't see warm off in abundance until you start going a little bit further down south. But I will say the lakes that do have warm off here in Michigan, these are some of the prettiest warm off I've seen anywhere. Uh, when I start when the fishing season starts this uh, this spring I'll make it a point to get some uh, fishing video of me out on Kent Lake trying to grab some warm off That's a f1 of mine I believe that one is a male I'm Not sure if this one is ever gonna fade, but even so that's still a nice looking fish. I'm gonna hang on to it It's got a little more vieja showing up in it than uh the uh, red devil from uh, whatever other parent species that is used to make the blood pair. I believe it's a vieja and a red devil or a medias. Still a nice looking fish. And uh, you can clearly see a difference in my fish's color. That I'm really starting to like that uh, Okiku, uh, Okiko, however you pronounce it, redhead mark. And this even doing seems to be doing something for the pure carpenters because this fish is extremely bright. If I can get these two to breed, that would be really nice. But I may have to uh, pick up some a couple 40 gallon breeders to try and uh, look, look at the green sunfish fighting the pleco. Really don't want him over there messing with that, that rock, but he need to clean the tank, buddy. You're going to have to deal with it. I'm raising the temperature up in this tank. I had it at 78. I'm pumping it up to 80. See if I can spark some breed, breeding activity after uh, raising the temperature up. I just did a water change, so the tank is currently at 73 right now and warming back up. So it'll probably be back up to 
78 probably within the next, I don't know, three, four hours of them. Whew. I'll change and then set it to set uh, the 80 and crank it up and see what happens. Fish is looking really good. Also, if anybody's local to me, I'm in the Nova uh, area in Michigan. I'm looking for a female Jaguar cichlid. So if anybody has one, uh, let me know. Like I said, I got that uh, female Red Devil that I'm willing to trade. I also have that uh, that male Red Dova. I've got a hybrid project in mind for a female Jaguar cichlid. But y'all y'all have heard me ramble on enough. Let me go on ahead and let you guys go. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, probably I won't upload another video until I rescape the 150 so I can show you guys that with my fireman's dream flower horn, everything going on over in that tank. But uh, with that being said, uh, catch you guys later. Peace.